Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In today's video, we will talk about different virtual interfaces which you can create over Direct Connect. So we have three different types of virtual interfaces, uh, private, public and transit. Over a dedicated DirectNet connection, you can have maximum of 51 virtual interfaces, out of which you can have max 50 public or private interface and four transit interfaces. So if you're creating four transit waves, you can have maximum of 47 public or private waves because the max cannot be more than 51. For hosted connection types, you can have only one wave and you can create virtual interfaces for the same account where you have your DirectNet connection or you can also create a virtual interface in a different account and if you do that then that particular virtual interface is known as hosted wave. So talking about a private and public wave so here I have my on-prem data center which is connected to DirectNet location and there's a cross connect already there. Now, if we need to access any resources within the VPC, then we need to create a private wave. So for the private wave, uh, you need to have a virtual private gateway, which is attached to a VPC and you will create a wave by using that. So after that, you can access any resource within this VPC. Now, if you need to access resources which are not part of your VPC, then you can create a public wave. So with the public wave, you can access resources like S3 bucket, your DynamoDB or Lambda. Next, we have transit wave. So transit wave also provide connectivity to AWS resources or which are running within the VPC. Now you might be thinking that we already have a private wave for that, then why we need transit wave? So with the problem with the private wave is that you need to have virtual private gateway, which is attached to only one VPC. So with the private wave, you can connect to only one VPC. So if you have 10 different VPCs, then you need to create 10 different uh, private waves. But with the transit wave, you are terminating at a transit gateway level. And then with the transit gateway, you can have multiple VPC attached to the TG.V. So that way with the single transit wave, you can connect to multiple VPCs. So to summarize, if you need to connect to resources within Amazon VPC, you use private or transit wave. And if you need to connect to resources which are not part of Amazon VPC like S3, DynamoDB, Lambda, then you can use public wave. And if you have multiple VPCs in the same region where you need to connect to on-prem environment, then you can use transit wave because if you use private wave, then you need to have one wave for each VPC. So better we can use transit wave. So that's all I want you to cover in this video uh, where I want you to talk about different type of virtual interfaces. Hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.